ladies and gents, welcome back to more Kotar 2. Um, last time... Oh, those things came off. Okay, um, last time we had just landed on the Paragus Mining Facility. Um, we did kind of the prologue, ran into a mysterious old woman named Kreia, and now I'm just opening these thingies. <laughs> Now, um, we are gonna, we are about to go discover, well, I already said his name, his name is Atten, some dude in here, and we are gonna go see what's up and hear his story. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? <laughs> I love the difference, like, how he sounds between the male and the girl. Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. <laughs> Care to explain why you're locked Security up? Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. Oh, you mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility. The only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Paragus fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts and trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. Wow. You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony into a thermal detonator. Hmm. Interesting. Just kidding. <laughs> you mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their Ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. <laughs> Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. What's the exchange? Hmm. We'll go with this. Exchange is a big crime outfit. Mostly operate out of Nar Shada. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. Like I said, I don't know too much about it. Could be something personal, or just business. Either or way, there aren't many Jedi left to do anything about it. Mm. I doubt it. No. It was war that thinned the Jedi, not the exchange. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian this contains Wars. They major Jedi spoilers, and kind of. The <laughs> if you have not seen Kotar 1, and you don't want to hear spoilers, kind of, I mean, don't watch. <laughs> well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Uh, then went to Corvin again. Yeah. Well, that was the story. But whatever happened there must not have lasted. Oh, there was some big civil war on Korriban. Knocked that academy to the ground. Looks like Revan's Grand Crusade finally consumed her. Yep, because my Revan was a girl. Yeah, well, when she became a Sith Lord, she sure didn't stop. She killed her way across half the galaxy. The males are bad enough. But when a woman falls to the dark side, 
You better space yourself before they catch you. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? <laughs> well, the miners can't all be gone, but if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We we'll grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. <laughs> Just stay ahead of me, don't make any sudden moves. Alright, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. <laughs> so it sends out a transmission to intro vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted. And then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here. Trapped. Ooh, what a dick. Is there anything else we can do? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Alright, sweet. That guy's... Save it. Cool. He's uh he's all fixed up from since last time we saw him. Does he have security? Oh, of course he does. <laughs> Okay, we'll go there later. Oh, sweet. Oh. Droid versus droid. I just like doing this. Because it's fun. <laughs> and you know what? We'll go like that. Look at there. There's the Ebon Hawk. Uh. <laughs> that was easy.
Paragus Fuel Depot. I don't have much to talk about. I'm so sorry for the boring commentary. It's Monday. I I never record gameplay on Monday, to be honest. Or I feel like I record most of my gameplay on Saturday night, to be honest, and Friday nights. That's usually when I do it because that's when I don't have work or I don't have to go into work th those nights. So. Those are party nights, right? But nope, I stay in and I record gameplay. So it's really weird whenever I uh, record gameplay. Oh, data pads. It's weird when I record gameplay on a weekday. Because it's just... I'm actually probably going to call out today. I'm probably not even going to go into work today. Because... <sighs> I deserve a day off, right? I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll see how I feel. I don't like taking days off just to take them, especially if I'm not sick or if I'm not doing anything. And Like, I don't know. I just don't like taking days off just because, unless there's a legit reason. But if I just don't feel like going, I just, that's not an excuse. <laughs> Did I get any? Oh, perfect. I'm gonna place that there. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Oh, is there one more? Oh, also, um, I was low-key hoping, although I kind of had a feeling it wouldn't happen, that they would, uh, on this version, because it's new, you know, it's backwards compa compatible, you know, uh, I was actually low-key hoping that they would restore the, uh, restored content. It's what it's called, like, the DLCs, like M478 and shit like that, but I guess not. Bummer, man. Like, I wanted to play the restored content. It's only available on the PC, I believe. I mean, that sucks. It's kind of a bummer, but alright. Uh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. What am I supposed to do again? I think it's uh, this one. There we go. Oh shit. was to actually get up pretty early, like around 12 or 11. Yeah, that's early to me because it's a weird graveyard. And then just like record, but I didn't start recording until like one.
The Paragus Fuel Depot. Whoa. Oh, okay, it's just my screen. Okay, got it. stupid droid of yours gonna come through or not <laughs> well I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my hey what do you know a little cargo cylinder came through of course he did if he got the turbo lifts working then we should have a clear run to the hangar wait wait don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. You're either really brave or really crazy, or both. Oh. All right, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. <laughs> I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. I don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. You received a comm link. Party members or others may use it to contact you to help you or provide information. Sweet. Found anything? It's so amazing how Atten's dialogue is different between the male and the female. Oh, it's fun. Hilarious. I, I, I like that I'm a male in this one anyways, because I think the male story is slightly better in Kotar 2 than the female. That's just my personal opinion. But hey, if you guys think otherwise, then yeah, let me know. She is an crazy. There's a lot of interference down there, probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. Will do. And be careful down there. Will do. Not that you care what happens to me or anything, but okay. Find a uniform, boom. Find the emergency supply. About time. The whole half naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. But there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate, too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. <sighs> Finally, Telos Mining Shield, uh, or I'm sorry, I'm at Survey Gear. Okay, we're good to go. How many level ups do I got? Oh, I got two. Oh, crap, I don't have depilations. Damn it. 
I forget. I'm a guardian in this one. Boom, ba doom, ba doom. Hey, don't run. Don't you dare run. Come on. Perfect. Oh, that bot over there? So annoying. So, so annoying. Oh, there we go. Let me take care of his ass first. I killed two with one stone. See, I don't need to level up. I can just handle this on my own. Sort of. <laughs> He's just, he was attacking the wall. I'm taking this guy first. Jesus! I'll just do a quick one, just so I can get stun short. Alright, we're gonna get... Treat injury, persuade, and... Let's do one demolitions. Stun Droid, that's what I wanted anyway. For this, at least. Wow. No, right. Moving on. Hey, watch out. That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. That steam will cook the skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Understood. Thor out. <laughs> Love that. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Don't run unless you have to. It makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Understood. Thor out. <laughs> 